My name is Ty, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna set up my Christmas tree with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm a designer, I'm a creative, I'm an artist. And I'm gonna bring the best tips on how to make your Christmas tree look amazing. The Christmas tree game that I made up and that you can print and have on your own tree as well. And I'll show you how to have fun with your Christmas tree because that's my idea for this year. Okay, cool. So now I've got everything we need for this Christmas tree. So I'm gonna start setting it up. And the first task is to put together the Christmas tree pieces, but also to open up every single branch. This is what's gonna make your Christmas tree look full, look healthy, beautiful. Well, don't forget to pick up your best Christmas playlist to play while you're doing this, because it takes a long time, especially if you're doing by yourself like me. This is what I mean when I say open up all of the branches. So you, you're gonna open all of them in different directions. To the sides, to the top. Fill up the space with the other branches. You gotta know where your tree is gonna be located at. So if this is what my tree is gonna be at, this is gonna be their front. So I'm always doing these changes and then going from a distance to see how it's looking like. You can see from a distance how I have a hole in there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up two of the branches and I'm gonna twist them together. There we go. So now we go back and we see that of course I've changed that side. So it's good to know that the back side is not important for me. Throughout the entire tree, it's always good to try to do a little round at the end of the branch because that fills the space up a lot and it looks so much better as well and you see how much fuller it just looks just by having all of these uh, branches turned to the top. I had a small space before and the dark colors usually tend to make this space look smaller and I got the white one and I love it, it's very special, very unique. And I've also had the rose bauble, well it says Christmas bauble, bauble. <laughs> I got them from Kosh & Co as well, maybe two, three years ago. And I always keep them in the same bag they came and that way I know they're gonna be good to use for next year. All right, so the important thing when putting all of these extra decorations in your tree, if you put it on one side, put it on the other side. And then you just keep going like that and making sure that it's all balanced and it's all full. So you start by spreading it out and then filling up the space. I've got two different sizes of decoration, so these ones are a bit smaller and these ones are bigger. So try to put the small decorations on top and the big decorations at the bottom. To me, decorating the Christmas tree means a lot because I'm not with my parents, I'm very far from them actually. And my mom used to make Christmas trees for companies when we were young, so we were all into this environment. She would make the prettiest Christmas tree ever. It just makes me homesick every time it's Christmas and I feel like most of the immigrants would be feeling the same way. So having something like that to share with them, to show them, to talk about it and make this place feel like home, this is very important to me. If you have kids around, it may be necessary to do a turn around the branches. Otherwise, you don't even need it. Here at my place, I only hang them and then I turn the end of the branches up. Much easier to set it up and to pack it back. Make sure that you put the bowls only before the end of the tree. I'll show you the difference. So you see, that's exactly what I meant with the bowls hanging off the tree. I personally prefer when they are before the end of it. All right, so about this game, the game is ready. I just printed all of the cards and now what I'm gonna do is just hang them in the tree. And they're here, you can see they're beautiful. They're looking really good, oops. Really wanna make sure these are going in my Christmas tree because this is gonna be the fun for the night. The cards look really good. And if you are just like me who's got a white tree, but sometimes it might be a bit too much white, so I've got these things that are green. 
Another thing I love to use on Christmas trees are ribbons. So I actually only have one set and I always use the same. It is thick one as you can see and this one is golden. But there is a bit of a trick to put that in. So I don't cut that. I just keep using the same roll and I roll it around the tree. Don't roll it straight. It's good to do some curves and that way you make these beautiful reflex. I wrap the end of the ribbon around one of the branches of the tree because that way I know it's not going to fall off. Whatever we do, we will be all right. Maybe you should do the ribbon before you put the decorations on because we only do Christmas tree once in a year, right? But it was definitely a bit of a niche to put the ribbon underneath everything. So yeah, it's good if you can do the ribbon first. I also have these golden pines and I love to use them because um, again, they just add more color to the tree, but also because I still have the sides of it and they are not really decorated. So I'm gonna use them now. All right, so now I'm just missing the lights. These are the lights that I got from Kosh & Co. They look really cute and I think they're gonna be quite reflective. Let's see. Oh, actually. Oof, they look blue, but they are white. All right, so I'll use these ones for the first time. I'm sure that my cat will love this one because it's the fabric that they like, the very smooth fur. All right, so now the Christmas tree is ready. I just want to talk a little bit more about the game. So I made up this game because I'm in Australia living far from my family and I won't spend Christmas with them. I'll be mostly with friends or even though, even if you are spending with your family but you want to make something more fun, that's the idea. So all the cards that are hanging on this tree are the ones that you can download from the link below. Just click on the description. And it's a set of 12 cards and each card contains a game. The idea is that you're gonna have a group you divide this group into two all of the games are to be played in a team so let's say for example it's my turn I start and I've got my group in there so I'll just pick one card randomly from the tree I'll open what's in there and I'll see and I'll read it out loud it's something different to do if you're hosting I literally collected the best things that I could find in terms of Christmas games and I put them here in a sort of a short version so you see even the classicals like mime two truth one lie I've included them all here and I'm sure that you guys are gonna have a lot of fun it's very important that it looks good on your tree so I created two different colors as well so this is the one that I'm gonna use but if your tree is green this is the option silver and red. I've done also this card that you're gonna download with the PDF. You can leave it there on your living room whenever you're serving food so people already know what you're planning to do after. Okay, so to have our cards for our Christmas tree, the first thing I'm gonna do is download the files, open the PDF and then send it for printing. I'll make sure that I've got ideally a cardboard stock, you know, something a little bit thicker that it's gonna last and look a little bit better as well. to put quality vest as well because that's gonna be hanging in my Christmas tree so I really want it to look amazing oh it's looking so good all right cool so here I have the cards printed front and back and on the back you're gonna see some lines the straight lines means to cut and the dashed lines means to just fold it right so for cutting I'm gonna use the knife as usual but for folding I have a great tip which is using the back side of your knife instead of the front side of it now that I've marked 
with the knife here where, where to fold it's much much easier you just do this and no marks or anything are gonna be in this now what I'm gonna do is find the X on the back of the cards and then punch a hole in there I'm gonna start by cutting off all the strings and that way it's easier for me to do it and then I'll pass the string from the hole and then just make a knot at the end so I can hang them in the tree so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me if there is anything that I could teach you. Don't forget to download the PDF as well, it's going to be amazing if I can see your photos. Just use the hashtag Christmas Tree Game. Merry Christmas! Bye! Yeah.